remember who you are. But most importantly, remember whose you are. To God be the glory. I lift you up. I pray for you in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach that you will have a wonderful, glorious, worship-filled day and that you will not be upset or frustrated. And if the enemy comes in like a flood, you'll lift up a standard against him, which is prayer and worship. Father God, I just come before you and I pray for all of the, the folks that might see this video. Lord, I ask you to bless them in their understanding. Father God, you said as we get wisdom and we get knowledge to, to in all of that to get no, um, not just knowledge and wisdom, but to get understanding. Father God, help us to understand that the enemy's always out there trying to push a button. But if we remove the buttons, Father God in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, and we apply the fire of Kadesh Ruach, the enemy will stop. The enemy will cease. But Lord, help us to remember that we have to make a conscious effort, and we have to make a decision that we're going to do it your way, Father God, and not our way. Father God, your word says that um, the plans of a man are many, but God's purpose, God's counsel, God's purpose shall prevail. Father God, I just lift up the name of Yeshua today. I decree and declare that Yeshua Hamashiach is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. He is our Savior. He is our Master. He is the Glorious One of Israel. He is the Anointed One. He is the Holy One. Father God, I just lift up that name, the name that is above all names. I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach to my friends, to my family, to, to the people out there that are not friends and family. Father God, to my foes, I pray for my enemies today, Lord. Lord, whoever it is that's working against you is working against me. Whoever's working against me is working against you. Father God, help us to remember that. Help us to understand that not everybody loves us and accepts us and forgives us. And that there is evil out there, Father God. But we have been called the righteousness of God for a reason. Father God, help us to remember that we can walk blameless, harmless, sinless, without rebuke in this crooked and perverse nation, in this pr crooked and perverse time. Father God, help us to have a praise on our lips and thanksgiving in our heart and stop all of the madness and the disobedience in our own lives. Father God, cause us as your holy chosen ones to get up from our place of depression, our place of misunderstandings, our place of hate and anger and, and ugliness, Father God, and, and just selfishness, Father God. Help us. Help us to remember who you are and that these things are not of you, Father God, and we partake in them. We are wrong and we are in a sinful state. Father God, help us to remember that we're to love and accept and forgive and pray for our enemies. Lord, as we lift up even the ones that come against us, Father God, we ask you that all of the people, the ungodly, the sinner, the wicked, the sorcerers, the prognosticators, the um, all of the, the, the people with familiar spirits, the mediums, the diviners, all of the people that are practicing satanic worship, Father God, they're human, and as long as they have breath in their life, they can repent, and they can come all the way back to you. Father God, we pray for those that are completely destitute and depraved, Father God, of the understanding of who you are, that, Lord, your spirit would shine upon them and that they would wake up out of that darkness and come into the marvelous light. Father God, we've been placed on this earth to decree, to declare what your will is, not what our will is. And Father God, your word says that you're not willing for none to perish. Father God, let us understand that we're to be about your work and that we're brethren because we do your will, your will, not ours, not man's. Father God, I ask you today that all of the people that are called by your name, if they would humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wickedness, Father God, they would be healed. Their land would be healed. You would come and you would show yourself mighty on their behalf. Father God, I ask you to have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on us. Father God, remember that we're but dirt. We're but dust. And Father God, help us be ever mindful that we have a short period of time on this earth. That when you blink your eyes, many, 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 many thousands and thousands upon thousands have already lived another life. 
uh, and, and they've already, what I mean, Father God, is they have lived and they have died in a blink of your eyes. Father God, let us be ever mindful that our lives are but a vapor. Let us make that vapor count for something bigger than ourselves. Lord, let us not be so selfish that it's all about us more, us for and no more. Father God, let us get out of our cliques. Let us get out of our prosperity gospel. Let us get out of the fact that we think we're going to get out of here with no suffering. No trials, no tribulations, which is just completely against your word, Father God. Lord, help us to start following your word and knowing what your laws are, knowing what your rules are, and stop trying to figure this out for ourselves, Father God, that we think that your word says this or we think your word says that, and your word says nothing that we think that it says because we've made up our own rules. Father God, let us stop following the traditions of men and the doctrines of men and the doctrines of devils. It's basically the same thing, Father God. Lord, I pray for your people everywhere to stop pointing fingers and blaming the devil and blaming Big Pharma and blaming all of these spirits. Father God, when they're the ones that are guilty of breaking your laws and allowing the enemy to come in like a flood to start with. Father God, let us become accountable for our own sins and stop pointing a finger like Adam did. Adam blamed Eve, and then when it didn't work, he blamed it on the devil. Father God, Eve blamed the devil. Father God, help us. Help us to stop pointing fingers and receive responsibility for our own actions and, and become accountable to you. Father God, let us get into those eight levels of repentance, Father God, to the point that there's no turning back, that we're going to do this or die. And more than likely, we, you know, think about it, Father God. We're going to die anyhow. We might as well do it your way. Father, I praise you. Father, I thank you. Father, I give you glory and honor. Help us, your children, to wake up. And Father God, the only way we're going to do that is if we, with all of our wisdom, with all of our knowledge that we get understanding about what your word is telling us. I thank you, Father, for living in us, moving in us. Lord, thank you for allowing us to just be alive today. Thank you for mercy and grace in Jesus' name. I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach over you to hide, protect, and keep you. It's Sister with a Testimony uh, with Hope on a Star, a.k.a. the Mount of Olives. We love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.